Hello, welcome back, and today we are um, going to be reviewing a new movie. Um, it's an Amazon original, which means it was just released on um, Amazon Prime for free. Uh, this movie is The Vast of Night. The Vast of Night is a low-budget, independent film taking place in the 1950s. About two high school su students, um, a switchboard operator, and the guy who runs the local radio station, and it's about them finding a uh, strange noise being broadcasted and the whole movie is them trying to find out what that noise is. For being on such low budget that it is, uh, The Vats of Night is actually um, really well shot and directed for the most part. Also for being the um, director Andrew Pattinson's first feature film, first film ever, um, it's a really good directorial debut and I'm excited to see what he does next. Um, and also, the acting is really good, even though there aren't very, like, any very popular actors in this. It's all kind of no-name actors. They all did really well. This whole movie feels like a love letter to a uh, 1950s science fiction cinema, and in particular, The Twilight Zone and other shows like that. Um, and even start zooming in on, like, an old TV with uh, some show, kind of like The Twilight Zone. I think it's called, like, The Paradox Hour, playing. And then it shows the name of the movie, like on the TV, The Vast of Night. And the whole movie is kind of set up like it's an episode of like a show like that. It's really cool to see indie film directors making like passion projects like this and then turning out this well. As for like flaws with the film, I feel like in some parts, the whole movie takes place mostly at, yeah, the whole movie takes place at night. So some things in it aren't very well lit. Like some scenes seem like really well lit and some seem like kind of brown and muddy and some scenes you can really see characters eyes they're kind of all darkened out like but again probably a flaw with the budget as this was it, there's an exact number but many people say it was a budget under a million dollars for a movie that's not very much I feel like all the actors did really really well in this movie and i feel like anybody who's a big fan of science fiction cinema and 50s and 60s science fiction cinema and, and specific you probably really really like this movie and even though there aren't very there isn't a big budget the effects are really good especially at the end uh, if you've seen the ending scene you might know what i'm talking about like the end scene um really good effects so watch this movie um as for what i rate it probably i give it 3.5 out of 5 um really uh, closer to four than a three but yeah probably 3.5 out of five thanks for watching and make sure to follow me on um, instagram and twitter i know i haven't plugged them very much lately but yeah follow me down there um if you want to see some cool content on those two platforms um thanks for 30 subs also